got some Olive Garden. We about to say our grace and get into this mukbang. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing in my life. Thank you for just grace, Lord. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hey, y'all. What's going on? So, we got some Olive Garden right here. <laughs> I'm fresh off doing 11 hours. It's Thursday night, so we gonna eat and just chat a little bit, y'all. I'm trying to stay consistent. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure I had y'all a video for Friday. Yes, y'all. So we got a salad here. That's what I got. We got some Alfredo. Here and I'm gonna show y'all what's in my Alfredo. How you can order keto and when you go out. And then we got some stuffed mushrooms. I'm trying to see am I gonna keep my salad in here? Cause I guess I do need a thumbnail. I did get one with the bag, so we'll just get it all set up. But how y'all doing? <laughs> I hope everybody is doing good. I'm so happy. Happy Friday, y'all. <laughs> I'm so happy that the weekend is here. You hear me? I some little pink salt and pepper I just put on there. And I got some, um, uh, they're Italian. Yeah, I'm speeding part of this stuff up because it took me forever to get this stuff prepared. <laughs> so, yeah, just bear with me. We got that together. And then let me show y'all my Alfredo. So when you go out, what you do is you tell them, no noodles. Make your broccoli your uh, noodles and chicken and shrimp. And it has Alfredo sauce. Of course, I had to ask for extra Alfredo sauce because I already knew. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be enough. And then I got the stuffed mushrooms. My hands so we I've been typing all day. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. Your girl is tired. It should not take me this long to open up no daggone mushrooms. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Oh my god. These better be showing up good. They got a lot of juice in there though. But those are the stuffed mushrooms, y'all. So I forgot what their mushrooms are stuffed with. I know it's seafood, but cheese and all that goodness. Y'all go ahead, take y'all bite. Get y'all a bite of that good old mushroom. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good. Y'all probably can hear my kids in the room. Probably can hear the TV over there. I don't want to touch it because now I got food all on my hands. Yep, so I just did 11 hours. I'm not working this weekend. It's a Friday. At five, 5 o'clock, I officially be off. Till Monday, of course. <laughs> but I'll take it. There's another mushroom. They're not that bad. I mean, they need a little seed, just a little bit. I'm going to make my own mushrooms, y'all. I was thinking about that earlier. I need to get back into my cooking. Let me know if y'all miss me in the kitchen. 
doing my lives. And lives is so much easier, y'all. Because you ain't got to edit. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <sighs> so, yeah, let me know. And I know I didn't said that before. I'm going to get back into my cooking. And I ain't did it yet. And some of the chicken and the broccoli. I got some shrimp in here too, but that's not on there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should try to do another thumbnail. Spinning stuff. Something like that. Yeah. I'm just happy to be off work. It was a long day. It's been a long week. I did 11 hours yesterday too, so. Yeah. And I got on a yellow shirt today. My girl, Alexandria. Let me pull my notes up too so I can have my uh, definition here. Yellow is an awareness of spina bifida. Alexandria, I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for being you. But it's a birth defect. And... It's one part of the spinal cord that is exposed through a gap in the backbone, causing paralysis of the lower um, limbs and sometimes mental ha handicaps. And when I tell you she's a courageous woman, She's been following me since I started my Instagram page. And then follow me on over here to YouTube. And has been a very good supporter. And friend. I'll be wearing one of her shirts she sent me. In honor of my best friend. And um, she sent that to me. And I didn't even know she was sending it to me. And I just cried, cried, cried. <laughs> So I'll also be working on a video to put out in honor of my best friend for Domestic Violence Month. So I'll be putting that out so y'all can look forward to that before the end of the month. I just got to put it together some kind of way. Something small, nothing, you know, huge, but just... My channel is dedicated to her. She's with me every day through this journey. So, yeah. It's only right. So that will be coming. But yes, I'll be um, putting Andrea's name down at the bottom too. I should ask for extra cheese packets. Um, so you guys can check her out and her t-shirts on Instagram. And she also has a YouTube channel. Where she does fitness in her wheelchair. She's so beautiful. And she just had a birthday. So happy um, belated birthday, Alexandria. Her and her husband took a very nice trip. And she looked like she had a wonderful time and enjoying life. And that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Do I look tired, y'all? <laughs> y'all know when I've been working a lot because this right eye gets small. <laughs> I'll be looking like, mm mm. Yeah, I'm staring at computers all day. I work in the medical field and in the administration part. And I'm on a computer all day long. Yep, working with my our patient, my patient. So these eyes get tired. Oops, though. I think because this broccoli so big, I can't taste no salt on there. <laughs> or they just didn't put no seasoning. But it's good. It's fresh. It just, y'all see, I got to keep adding as the layers go down. Y'all know what? I got a question. <laughs> How much do... And this question goes out to the uh, keto police. How much do y'all get paid? Hmm. I really want to know. How much do the keto police get paid? Because they got to be getting paid something. Got to be. Is that keto, keto police? Is this Alfredo, keto? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yep. But if y'all ain't getting paid, y'all might want to mind the business that does pay you. Because... Some of y'all be out here tripping. Yeah. Y'all be on some other stuff. And I've only, since I've been on YouTube, I got two messages on Instagram, I mean on YouTube, of people questioning what I'm eating. And once on Instagram, and I always reply nicely. But the way they come is just so crazy. Are you still keto? Is that keto that what you're eating? And then when I get my answer, they want to say, no, you shouldn't do this because of that. If you know the answer, why is you asking me the question? Because last I checked, since I've been on YouTube and on Instagram, I've always told people, this is my journey. Ketolicious Ness. And if you need to know where my name came from, not just from my cousins calling me that, but if you, I'm keto, always been licious, <laughs> and this is my name. So that is my name. Not yours, it's mine. And other people got keto licious, whatever out here. But just because my name is Keto Licious Ness, I am not the poster board picture for keto, okay? Nessa goes to the beat of her own drum, okay? And my favorite question, answer to them is, did y'all watch my video? <laughs> did you watch the video? Because you are clearly hearing me say, Every time. I ain't out here misleading nobody. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a clinician. So, 
If you looking for health tips, don't come this way. <laughs> don't. But if I want some fried chicken, I'm going to eat some fried chicken. That ain't the first time I done ate fried chicken on my channel. And it won't be the last time. You might see me eat rice one day. You might see me eat anything on here one day. This is my journey. There is a such thing as dirty keto. And I do what I want to do. I do what makes my body feel good and what makes my mind feel good. I ain't been the best this last two weeks. I'm my shirt, shirt say. Carbs are my spirit animal. That's what my shirt say. Yeah. So I'm keto. But, <clears throat> but I never tell you I ain't never gonna eat no fried chicken because I will. Yeah. Yes, I will. And I don't mind people asking questions. Don't get it twisted. I don't. Because everybody's following me. Um, one point, almost 1.5K of my ride or dash and the people that follow me on Instagram all know I respond. When people have questions, I don't just leave you out there. I answer questions on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Wherever people call my phone that know me personally. So I'm always trying to send people in the positive and right direction. But what I do on keto, somebody else might do something totally different. But at the end of the day, I always keep it keto. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yes. If you're looking for a strict keto, somebody that's never going to eat a piece of fried chicken or never going to just not be straight keto one day, if that's what you're looking for, this is the wrong channel. Yeah, I'm sorry. But if you want somebody that's real and that's going to show you what she do behind closed doors, I, I don't need to eat chicken behind this camera. I can eat it right in front of y'all. I'm telling you, that's the best, but I'm eating it. <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know. People just need to be worried about the right things. But I know that's going to come. I'm turning my phone up. I know. But I'm going to address it. So people understand Yes. I'm keto, but I'm going to live my life. Mm -hmm. Someday, I might be so keto where I don't eat nothing else. And I follow people that are living that lifestyle. Like Marie Mamrick, I believe that's how you say her name. I love her on Instagram. But watching those people keep me as keto as I am. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> but yeah, this was good. And as y'all can see, mm -hmm, I tore it up. My salad almost gone. We got two mushrooms. And I don't want to talk y'all to death. And I don't know what time. I think I we about 26 minutes in. Happy Friday. I hope y'all enjoy y'all weekend. And just enjoy life. Enjoy life, y'all. Because that's my plan. <laughs> And figure out what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving. What I'm cooking. My daughter Deja on my neck. Is you making real macaroni, ma? <laughs> Is you making some dressing? I'm making my keto stuff, but... I don't know, y'all. But they like it. And they love it. And they tear it up. But they just miss my other cooking. But that's too much to do both. So I got to figure it out. Y'all help me out down in the comments. Let me know what to do. Because I don't know. <laughs> but I love y'all. Keep it kid delicious. Have a safe and blessed weekend. I'm going to try to come to y'all with some cooking shows or something next week. Maybe on Tuesday because I don't work no overtime. We'll do tacos. Let me know if y'all want me to make that pizza and uh, maybe some cheese shell or something. Leave me a mess. Uh, leave me a, a, a comment. But I love y'all. So keep it key delicious. I think I already said that. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Peace.